What is up you guys? This is Dr. Ryu and I must say I'm sorry for not being able to upload last week. I was just enjoying time with my friends and family for my vacation as well as I went to a residency retreat which is so great and so fun. And also lastly I'm in inpatient medicine month which is so fun and so interesting. I learned so much however the hours are crazier than before. So that's why I was mia -ing. And that being said let's jump right into today's topic. Today's topic unfortunately is my least favorite. It is how to lose weight in two or three weeks. I really don't like today's topic. It's not what I advocate for in my practice. And um, not only that, I call it a fake diet. The reason why I call it fake diet is you're not losing real weight. You're probably only losing water weight in this two or three week period. Not only that, it's not sustainable. If it's unsustainable, you're probably gonna yo-yo back to where you started off with. So simply, there is no health benefit to this method. However, I do understand, and I had to go through it too sometimes. Sometimes life happens, you have a wedding coming up, you have a wedding photo shoot coming up, you're going to a beach, or your maid of honor in your best friend's wedding. So sometimes it is necessary to go on this last minute diet. So that being said, let's break down and step by step of how I can help you lose weight in two or three weeks. Okay, first, if you have any control over the event that's gonna happen, whether it's the beach outing or it's a wedding photo shoot, try to schedule your event so that it lies on between your periods. I'm sorry ladies, um, this only applies to those who do have a regular menstrual cycle. The reason why I say this is because you all know before your period or during your period you feel bloated and you don't really feel that good about yourself. And this is just natural thing that I talked about early, in earlier videos, but basically you do retain a lot of water weight during your menstrual period. Therefore, if you have any control over the event that's happening, um, try to schedule it so that it lies in between your period. That way you can look the most confident, um, least bloated, and the best about yourself during this event. Number two, salt is a culprit. So the goal to lose weight during this two to three weeks period is to lose body weight. And if you consume a lot of salt, you're gonna retain a lot of water. So try to avoid a lot of salty food, eat your food bland, and try to avoid chips, try to avoid cookies. Yes, cookies do have salt. And try to avoid things that will make you bloated. So pretty much cut down on that salt. Number three, Carb is the next call for it. So if you have seen my earlier videos of keto diet, it's basically if you choose meals with least carb, then that meal is probably gonna be less calorie on average compared to meal with a lot of carb. So consider during this period of time that you're on a mini keto diet, and that will definitely help you lose weight faster. And number four, if you feel a little bit confused on which diet to choose, what food to eat, what food not to eat, um, it's it really depends on people. We're all different. But the best rule of thumb is if you feel hungry maybe an hour before you go to bed, then you're doing something correctly. And I know if you're like my friends and myself, I feel hungry 24 seven, whether if I'm just eating a meal, I still feel hungry. I feel hungry for desserts. I feel hungry for some ice cream. So I get it. I do feel hungry 24 seven as well. However, we need to distinguish between fake hunger and real hunger. So during this period of time, like an hour before you go to bed, try to drink a cup of water, wait for 15 minutes. And if you still feel hungry, then you're doing something correct. And I met people who says, Oh, like if I'm really hungry before I go to bed, I can't fall asleep. Okay, I do have a solution for those people. Try to drink a warm chamomile tea or non-caffeinated tea, or try to drink a warm skim milk. And that will definitely um, help you feel a little bit um, fuller and it does help you sleep as well. Lastly, exercise. Now exercise, this topic could be a little bit tricky because you need to understand your physical limitation as well as 
your physical potential. So why your physical limitation? You don't want to overwork your body. It's unhealthy for your joints. It's unhealthy for your emotion, your mental health. If you just continue to exercise um, hardcore when you're taking such a low calorie intake. That being said, that doesn't mean that you should not exercise. You need to understand your um, potential, your physical potential. Um, there were times where I had to go on a binge diet, I would have to say, and um, I thought I wasn't able to run. But surprisingly, when I felt a little bit hungry, I just decided to go out and start running. And um, because I was so exhausted, I forgot about that. I forgot about how hungry I was. And surprisingly, I was able to run 20 minutes without stopping. So understanding your physical potential is very important as well. You might want to juggle back and forth between your exercise routine so that you're not just starving yourself, but you're also intaking low amount of calories while building that muscle as well. And if you followed from one to five, like I suggested, I promise you that you can lose the maximum amount of weight um, in such a short period of time. Like I said, this is my least favorite topic and it's a combination of what worked for myself. So try it out and hopefully it'll help you feel the best and feel the best for that special event.